And we welcome you yet again to In Focus. More than 300 years ago, people from Africa brought basket making skills to plantations in North America. Now, these beautiful creations are, not, are on display right here in Washington, and VOA's Carolyn Turner has that story. The exhibit, Grassroots African Origins of an American Art, demonstrates the enduring contribution of African culture to the southeastern United States. The exhibit traces the history of coiled baskets from Africa in the United States and shows how a simple farm container for rice evolved into a work of art and an important symbol for African American identity. Curator Christine Kramer says Africa is connected to the United States in very tangible ways as documented through the history of the baskets. This knowledge and creativity of the tools, including baskets that were used in rice cultivation, came through the Middle Passage in the most horrendous, terrible journey of the transatlantic slave trade. And yet, upon arrival on America's shores, this information was communicated, it was valued, and it flourished. Baskets are valued by the time invested. These baskets can take as long as three months to weave. A symmetrical pattern with fine stitching makes it more valuable. A visiting artist from Charleston, South Carolina, Henrietta Snipe, explained the materials needed for craft. These are all the natural materials that we use to make the basket with. This is palmetto leaves, which is South Carolina state tree. Long leaf pine needles is gathered in the summer and baked to this color. I gather it green. This is sweet grass. There are two kinds of sweet grass. This is a finer element that grows right in the marshy area. And then this is the thick blade of sweet grass, which grows behind the second dunes. These are the base part of the basket. This is what you do first before you decide whether you want to work on a bread basket or a fruit basket. You have to come up with your basis. On both sides of the Atlantic, the art of basketry is handed down from generation to generation. Over here you see the generation pieces of five generations of basket makers in my family. Here, this is my grandmother with the natural purse. This is my mother's spool top. This is my piece with the French knots, pine needle that is actually tied and woven back to the basket. This is my daughter's piece here. And very least but last is my granddaughter's, Kayla Snipe, one of the youngest person in the community to have a basket on exhibit. And she's 13 right now, but she was about, um, I think seven or eight when she completed this. So, so you see have the generation pieces here that keeps this traditional art form going. Today, African-American baskets are uniquely American art. And this is one great example of a tradition that did not disappear despite the unbelievable conditions through which this knowledge, this artistry came via the transatlantic slave trade to the United States. Instead, we have a story of flourishing, of creativity, and a reinforcement of these very strong and important connections between Africa and the United States. In both Africa and the American South, basket makers teach the ancient craft to young people and sell their works to collectors who prize them as art. In South Carolina and Georgia, as in many parts of Africa, virtuoso basket makers invent forms, experiment with new materials, and perfect the techniques they have learned from their parents and grandparents. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. This is impressive. And to think that back home, this is very day, kind of day-to-day -day functional day -to -day thing. thing. I was just about to say, Makori, obviously those are no, we are not strangers to yeah. the art of basket making yeah. and the uses of them. But I have to say, I just have a whole new appreciation seeing them yeah. in a museum yeah. where you realize that it's really an art. It's an and art. I, and I guess we need to maybe really take it more seriously. Appreciate it we like that. People. We think we take it for granted. Yeah. We see that just baskets. Yes. Everybody makes. They're used for daily functional yeah, jobs, exactly. you know, carrying this and carrying that. Yeah. But look at that. This that is, is beautiful. amazing. It's beautiful. Some of them you just make for... Yeah just for looking at. Well, and how more amazing the fact that it's being, they're being done by people right here exactly. in the U.S., North Carolina. Impressive. Mm -hmm. And now that's our program for today. You can watch in focus on our website at voaafrica.com. 
And of course, for more news, please listen to VOA's English service, African News Tonight and Daybreak Africa in the Morning. We thank you so much for watching. Good night. See you tomorrow.